Hey, what's up, guys? Well, let's put back here, and today we're playing a new deck. I don't think I ever played on the channel. If I did, it was over a year ago, over two years ago, probably even. But we are going to be playing some Uther of the Ebon Blade Paladin. For those who don't know what this deck is, it's a combo deck where the Uther of the Ebon Blade hero portrait has a couple. Horsemen, right? You have uh, Nazgrim, uh, Trollbane, White Mane, and Mulgrain. And the thing is, uh, as you saw with the hero power itself, if you have all four, destroy the enemy hero. Therefore, if you press your hero power four times, you get to keep the 2 2 you summon each time on the battlefield, you win the game really cool hero power right takes a lot to get going except for the fact that with the combination of uh garrison commander to use your hero power twice in a turn as well as uh sing along buddy who makes your hero power trigger twice and your hero power can't summon the same tutu again the same horseman again with it triggering twice and garrison commander you can use your hero power twice for uh, four mana, your Scrounder for six, and then the single long buddy for eight, and you'll summon all four, killing your opponent. So, that's kind of the goal of the deck. Besides that, it feels like it's card draw, it's removal, it's ramp, it is what it is type of thing. So, with all that being said, how about we queue up the first game, and honestly, in this video, I'm hoping to get one win with it especially with how fast the meta is right now if i get one win i'm happy so yeah with that being said i'll see you guys all in the first game <sighs> all right first matchup we already have the garrison commander we have a gold panner which is not bad we have this 2-3 to draw into Nazdormu, and we have a Christology. I mean, this hand feels fine, so let's let's just try it, I guess. Sorry, I have to take off my fucking hair tie. Ow! Jagger Priest? Go figure. Let me guess, it's Dragon Aggro Priest with a take an extra turn. It is a Dragon Aggro Priest with a take an extra turn spell. In other words, I can never win this game, which is fun. So the full combo now in hand, which is pretty nice. Oh, I've lost this game. I'm dead on four. He plays two or three more dragons next turn, and I'm just dead. Let's go gold, gold pan. Uh, we can develop this here. It trades favorably into that. Either way, I draw one card. The switch is guaranteed to be this. If I draw Uther the Ebon Blade this turn, I think I just have to go for it. Where I coin out Nazdormu, turn into that, I go Uther, turn into that, I go for it. If I die, I die. It is what it is. Yeah. Holy spell, what is there? There's that and that, and that's it. Fuck it. If he has it, he has it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen. If he has it, he has it. One, two, three, four. He's missing one more. I'm not gonna play the other dragon. Oh, no, he just had me with burn. It is what it is. Uh, I mean, I was dead that turn either way. No matter what I did, I was just dead there. I was dead on four. I mean, being dead on four is being dead on four. There, there's nothing you can do. Oh, well. Let's just queue up the next game. All right, a Druid's hopefully gonna be a slightly slower matchup. I'm gonna keep the Uther. 
Um, I'm gonna also keep the gold pattern. All right, well, depending what type of druid it is, it's probably Miracle Druid. From what I've been hearing, Miracle Druid is a very, very popular deck. Yeah, sing along buddy and our gold penner. So it's just gonna be draw as many cards as I humanly can and hopefully be able to slam Uther before he combos me out. I'm currently actually looking at a Miracle Druid list because I was asked to play it. No idea how this deck wins. I'm seeing Barnes, Gadget San. Oh, I have the whole combo in hand now, which is pretty dope. But I don't see how this deck actually wins. Forbidden Fruit uses all your mana to gain that much attack. Okay, it's not that deck. Which means it's just Dragon Druid, which means we should be able to win. As long as I play one card a turn for the next little while, I should be fine. Uh, hopefully I can get there. Yeah, I need to survive till 9, right? Maybe I draw Nas this turn and I kill him in two turns. Then there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, it's not Nas. Uh, let's see this. Uh, let's see this. Okay. ETC just has more removal in him, right? Hold on, if I go ETC next turn, I reorder your deck. I do reorder my deck on six. Hmm. So it's so be reorder my deck next turn. I have too many cards in my hand. I need this gold pattern to die. I need to play something, I'll be honest. Okay. That's actually not bad for me. It means I can go Uther next turn. It was pretty good. Do I, I guess I'll just play this this turn. It's the only real turn I can actually play it. Yeah, it's the only turn I can actually resolve that card. If only I had coin, I could have coined out Uther here and I would have won the game next turn. Stay alert, my children. Stay alert, my <sighs> okay. Also, by the way, before we get too much more into the video, seeing that I think this game has exactly one turn left, because I have like OTK in hand, right? And it's six spots, so even with my one dude on board, it's still lethal. Which is pretty darn good. But, uh, no, I hope everybody has a beverage. I'm gonna really drink myself a beer. It is one of the new beers that we got at work. I have a feeling it's a double or a triple IPA. It's real strong. I won't deny that fact. It draws me three. Okay. Well, he thinks he's got me. But what he doesn't know is Garrison Commander and Sing Along Buddy. This should work, assuming that's how this deck wins. And that, uh, yes, I did it. <laughs> I wanted this deck to work once. And you know what? I'm happy with it. I got one win, that's all I realistically wanted and can't complain. Anyways, uh, with that being said, let's uh, queue up the next one. All right, guys, yeah. That means I'll see you guys all there. All right. <clears throat> uh, let's 
Okay. I'm ready to lose the aggro priest. Why is there so much aggro priest? It is not aggro priest. I'm genuinely surprised. I mean, it still realistically could be aggro priest, I'll be honest. This is like a 50 50 on this if this is aggro priest or not. Not it could be Miracle Priest. It's Miracle Priest. He's the only deck that still plays that card. <clears throat> That's not a, uh, what is it called? Oh, he made my Uther pretty. So I'm not missing just two cards and I win the game, right? Man, this deck feels pretty consistent. So you could just draw the sing-along buddy with uh, Christology. Yeah, the Garrison Commander you can't, but it makes it feel pretty darn consistent. No, those are the cards I wanted. I could show down in the bad lines the next turn, which is pretty strong. Ideally, I draw those city tax, I think. Get trade in the gold panners and try to go for a city tax. Just because a quality city tax is just a really, really good play. Unless he fills out the board completely, I can't a quality prism. I guess I could technically. You need to have. No, I can't. Because of how prismatic. or. prismatic beam mana cost changed. Uh, it needs to be city tax here. I guess I could actually go a quality showdown. Can't quite a quality consecrate. Prism here, right? No, Prism doesn't kill that. Prism puts that down to seven, this down to five. So that would survive at one. No, it's just the quality. Put that in there, that in there. I think I have to trade this in here, right? As much as I want this piece of card draw, I think that's the better play overall. Now I have EQ Consecrate, so it's not the end of the world. Especially if he floods the board here. What are those? Fuck. Well, it doesn't matter anymore. I have another board wipe in him. Don't have an easy way of killing him, but I do have another board wipe in Barov. With three draws in my deck, that is a board wipe with. Yeah. I have now two draws at Garrison Commander to just win the game. Three draws, because I also have Flash. Okay. There's no minions left in his deck, and I'm pretty sure that deck only really wins through minions. So I'm a little surprised. But hey. But anyway, he plays here. I mean, I could always go and change my play. Well, fall by my hands. DC does not quite get me there, sadly.
What? I just got yogged. Sorry, I had to blow my nose. My nose has been running like a fucking faucet for the last two days. It's kind of obnoxious, but it is what it is. You know, gotta live with it. That's pretty good for him. Okay. Bruh, didn't even let me resolve a garrison commander. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. Uh, that's two wins. It's honestly two more than I thought I was going to get. So I'm pretty happy with that. Anyways, with that being said, let's uh, queue up the next one. All right. Uh, oh, that's where that was. Sorry, I was. I don't. I think I talked about it briefly. Oh, Garrison Command. That's pretty good. There's so much priest on the meta right now. What the hell? Let's just do this. Um, I think I mentioned it briefly, but. Um, for all those who play a lot of magic, um, I'm getting into a new format that I never really put any thought into playing before, which is Legacy. Um, I'm currently in the midst of looking through a pile of cards trying to find a playset of Urborgs. Um, so I'm going to be trying to play Depths. No idea if that's a good deck to play. Again, never really ever played Legacy in my life. I have a full combo in hand. So, I'm picking up my playset of uh, Merit Lakes, or sorry, Dark Depths. Um, I have a playset of Urborgs, I have the Yavimayas. Looking at buying a couple more of certain cards. <laughs> sorry. Fucking oh, Christ, my throat. Throat has kind of been killing me all day as well. Probably not ideal, but hey, it is what it is. Let's do this here. Another aggro deck. We're Uther and mana away from winning the game. The big thing is with him taking an extra turn, it's so hard for me to actually win the game. It's kind of ridiculous. Maybe he's playing a mid-range deck, but I doubt it. Oh, I do have that now. He's played three, which means he can't quite play it next turn. Do that to make him think I don't have much in my hand. Yeah, city tax, board wipe, reset my health total is pretty nice. Really? I guess he couldn't trade in any of his dragons. That's four. I'm dead next turn. He plays another one drop and then plays... What's his face? And I just die. Oh. Well, it's active next turn, which means I can't ever let him have a board. Yeah, it's... Yeah, I'm just gonna go for. Oh yeah, shoot this one. I wanna show all enemy minions. We'll let the dead rest. Yeah, I could just never let him have a board for the rest of the game, or else I just die. Well, that's once a game, which means he burnt it now. Which is good for me. <laughs> uh, especially if I draw quality here. If I draw quality here, I don't doubt I can win this game. Any other draw that makes it a little bit more risque. 
they can't kill the 5-7, and this 5-7 is terrifying. Let's just let him showdown. Maybe I could draw Prismatic Beam and showdown. What? Well, I need a quality now or else I'm just dead. It's not a quality. Are you serious? This is how I lose this game? Ah, fun. Again, why are there more classes with take change of turn cards? I'm hyped for the card to eventually try it in like a control dragon priest shell where you use it just to get enough tempo to, you know, wipe the board or something. In this use case, it's again, it's just now there's just Dragon Priest, which is just Quest Mage. So not what it's personally not what I want to use it for, but I I can see how quickly that would devolve into that because it's really good. I mean, probably the best legendary in that set. Probably the less best legendary printed since. I want to say Kane when he came out, because Kane was everywhere when he came out. The Demon Hunter guy who lets you get around taunts. I think he's more powerful than Renathal ever was. ETC. Tony. Just pick any other legendary. and Probably the most impactful since Open the Way Gate. <laughs> Unironically. Um, anyways. Uh, whatever. We have time for one last one, so let's queue it up. All right. I will fight with honor. Finally, something that's not a priest. I feel like priest has actually just become the entire meta. I want to keep this because they draw like Uther and then the rest of the shenanigans. Oh, there's the Uther. Kind of want to just go turn four Uther or turn five Uther, turn six, try to kill him. Doubt it's going to work, but let a man hope. Also, for those who are wondering how my keyboard is after yesterday, I don't know what I did, but I fixed it. But I also somehow lost a keycap. So luckily I had a backup one keycap. Or, well, it's a keycap for W. So now the only key on my keyboard that's a different color is my W. It's like a textured one versus a regular one. Hopefully it doesn't make typing awkward, but I have a feeling it might. But again, it is what it is. It had to be done in order to, you know, have a functional keyboard. And I, the last thing I wanted to do realistically was buy a new keyboard. They're really expensive. I think the keyboard I was like, I was like 300 bucks almost. Like after taxes and everything. Interesting card. All right, he has two turns to kill me with 20 mana. So I'm going to go Uther next turn, wipe his board. Turn after that, I have lethal. Again, I'm fully aware that slamming... Am I done? I'm absolutely dead. He doesn't like infinite mana, fuck. Did not quite realize this is what he was on. Well, learned my lesson. Yeah, and taking extra turn cards are so fun. Why is that an arcane spell?
It must be nice only having to actually play two spells with you high rolled, but Oh yeah, there was no stopping what he just did. Even if I would have waited, I was still just dead. It is what it is. Yeah, I'm tired of sitting through this. That was bullshit, but hey. It always feels like bullshit playing against take an extra turn decks. You know, I'm weirdly enough way more fine with cards like that when I can play counter spell. Like an actual spell from my hand that I can interact with what they're doing. And just counter it. It's a lot more balanced, weirdly enough. I think I got now one of each warlock card. I did. So now I'm just weirdly enough missing legendaries, I feel. Like I'm missing two cards that are not legendaries. But I'm mostly just missing legendaries and a couple like second copies of epics. I think I have all the regular epics though. Um, let's just buy one pack. Man, I loathe taking extra turn spells. They're, they're kind of bullshit. But again, they are what they are. Nothing I can do about them. No Legos. Uh, it is what it is. Oh, that's another deck I want to try. I want to try Big Shaman with, um, all the new things. Yeah, missing one mage, one warrior legendary. So now I can get the candy coin as well as two of these and have all the cards and be pretty happy. Weirdly enough, there's no diamonds. Uh, normally you'd get a diamond legendary. They're not doing that anymore, I guess. Okay, new. Just move all the new tags so they definitely don't piss me off. Look at this guy. I got a new set and I go missing. That's a searchable term, right? Yeah, so what is it? It's one epic, two epics, three epics, four epic, five epic, six epic, two legendaries. It's actually not that bad. That's like three and a half legendaries worth of dust. Like what? 16, 32, 48, 48 plus 8, 56, 100 dust. I can still be well over 8k dust and craft all of them. Which is kind of funny if you ask me. Anyways. Uther the Evan Blade Paladin. Deck was really fun. Turns out you lose to extra turns though. Like every single deck in the game does at the moment. It's annoying, yes. But it also is what it is. You can try your best, but until the take an extra turn mechanic gets nerfed in Hearthstone, it's just going to be the best decks in the format. It's just going to depend how hard they are to actually carry out a win with. Like, yeah, it, there, there's really nothing to say. I'm just glad that I got this deck to work once. And again, it's really cool. It's a, it's a really, really cool combo believe this card just came out right this is yeah this is why this deck is playable now you have Wizbang workshops this guy i'd recommend it you know it's one legendary that's not played anywhere else in uther everything else is commons and i guess two epics for the commanders but are these not in the standard set right now they are not what else it's all just commons and rares I guess besides Showdown, but Showdown's and also a lot of other Paladin decks, just because it's a really good card. Barrow's in like all the Warrior and all the Paladin decks that are not, obviously not the even Warrior decks or the even Paladin decks, but it's in basically all the other ones. ETC is in every single deck. Nazarmut's in every Paladin deck that's slower. I, I would recommend it, you know, and even this sideboard is like really cheap. It's one of the cheapest combo decks I think in the game right now, and... It's a lot of fun. The games I played with it today were honestly a lot of fun, even though we did lose to some bullshit, but hey, it is what it is. Anyways, with that being said, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. I'm exhausted. I need to go to bed. I have to be up at 9 a.m. for work tomorrow. So, hey. With all that being said, I'm going to go get some sleep, and I'm going to see you guys all in the next one. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all there.
Peace.